Hey, this is Teresa. Oh, let me move my five hour. Hey, this is Teresa, one mother, one daughter, and I'm here to do my Two Below Designs LLC. I am late by two days. Let's get that so you can see what it is. But you know what they say, better late than never. I had some issues that I needed to deal with, and y'all know I'll be saying my telling my shit on on the internet because you know people don't really care about. They don't really care about two bitches and have something to gossip about. So I don't really bring my information unless there's something funny about it to the internet. But that's what it was. I couldn't get my video out on time, but better late than never. Anyway, back to the point at hand. Last week I told you guys that this week I would show you what I would do with that image that I colored up using my distress inks, not distress oxides. The distress inks, they still work even though everyone is still in the ox into the oxides. I have the oxides too. I just use the regular distress inks for that. Those inks are still the bomb. Both the, the oxides and the regular inks are the bomb, but I still use my regular inks. And if you like watercoloring and you all want to get into that or haven't used that, they're, they're really good for watercoloring. But I use that to color up these two images from this stamp set here. If you didn't see my other video, if you haven't seen that video, please go back and look at that. Um, yeah, I showed a lot of tips in that. In most of my videos, I try to show you tips that will make it easier for you to do what I'm doing um, in your crafting. So this is the stamp set I use. I use these two images that you will see soon or that you seen last week. Now, when I got this stamp set, I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I picked this out. I like to pick up stamp sets that I can use with more than just what it's there for. Like, this is a Christmas stamp set. I want to be able to use this for more than just Christmas, okay? Like, I can use this house, and this could be just a regular uh, awning. It doesn't, because it looks like snow. You don't have to make it look like snow. And the cutest thing about this is that little wreath and those steps. But the wreath is so cute. It has little snow hills on the the window sills. But so you can still conceal that and make it not be about Christmas. It could just be a winter uh, a stamp set. But then it has these two branches. One branch says on this side, and the other branch is on that side. That doesn't have to be for Christmas. Then it has this lamp set, which is also really cute. Doesn't have to be for Christmas. The these carolers, you can change these to sleep hats, <laughs> and you can you can make it like they're telling a story, and you can like actually write words on the book, so it doesn't have to be for Christmas. And that's what I think about when I'm I'm purchasing a stamp set. I don't want to be able to just use it for that holiday unless it's extremely cute. Now I was gonna do these these people right here, but I. I had a hard time coloring them because I like to color them in a way that I can make them look like the person I'm sending it to. So I didn't use that. There are two sentiments. Here we come at Carolyn and may the wonder of Christmas be yours. And I didn't use that. I made up my own sentiments. So without further ado, let me show you what I'm doing. So this is my project. I made a easel shaker card. So, we're going to start in the beginning, and I emboss the background with, is this, oh, Anna Griffin embossing folder that I just had to get when I seen it. It's a six, is it six? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's five and a half. I didn't even realize that. It's five and a half by 12, so it is a long one. If you have a cricket, you have to get the extender in order to use that. But you can tell that it is very detailed. It, it leaves a very deep impression, and I really, really, really love that. I cut out some snowflakes for my cricket to make it snowy since the house is snowy. I'm going to show you those how I cut them out. And the reason why I'm showing you this like this is because let me move this back. Can you see? This is how it cuts out. And it's as detailed as it is, it is very cute. It's very detailed. And if you see that, you'd be like, hey, that's a snowflake. 
and it's cute. But then you spruce it up with some glitter, and you be like, hey, look at that snowflake. That is so nice. That's a snowflake. <laughs> yeah, because you have to spruce up your die cuts. And I used my Martha Stewart glue glitter that I had in my stash for a long time. And this is it. It's called put it down so you can see. It's sugar cube. Come on, you can do it. Sugar cube. And see the iridescent on it? It's white. But it has pink and green that really brings out the snowflakes. And look at the snowflake in the back. Can you see how it brings it out? And if you don't know what that is, these are Martha Stewart. If you see someone de this, because if you've been crafted for a while, you probably have this in your stash. And it's it looks like mine because I had it for a while and it's going to last you forever. But if you find someone de it, you need to get this. It's going to last a long time. A lot of people don't like glitter. This is extra fine glitter. It comes in all these beautiful colors and they really make a difference on your die cuts. I use that all the time. And sometimes I seal them in afterwards so that it don't get all over everything. But that's what I used on the snowflakes. You can see on the inside there are stars and glitter and micro beads. I didn't really like the way the glitter went inside of the acetate because it's kind of leaving like a film on the front. But it still turned out cute. Anyway, so I used flat back pearls on the middle of the snowflakes and I used some of my glue dots that I showed you guys how to make with Eileen's tack it all over glue to hang the chain underneath the snowflake can you see that? it's so glittery you probably can't see it but there is two glue dots one to hold the chain and one to hold the snowflake and it doesn't leave big bulk. Sometimes, you see that right there? Sometimes you don't want it to be so bulky and that's where the glue dots come in handy as opposed to the foam tape. So on the charms that I had in my stash, I put a flat back on the back and the front. Since it's a shaker card, it will be moving around and I want it to be beautiful from both sides. The circle that's framing the globe and the piece for the bottom of the globe I also cut from my Cricut which I love my Cricut and it um, I use uh, a sentiment all these sentiments are my own to go with this the image <laughs> this had a brain fart <laughs> uh, yeah the sentiments I, I came about my own mind to go with my um with my image and it says from our home to yours I use two little flat back pearls to make it seem like you know those brackets that they be having on the front of the globe yeah so I did that and then I followed the images the, I mean the yeah the snowflake images into the inside just to make it you know it is the inside of this card so I think you should always bring some of the images and the color to the inside of the card it just makes it all feel like this is a card you made together and I really love that idea I always do that and I always tell you guys that you should do well suggest that you guys do that so here's a couple of snowflakes that I put down here and then I cut this half a snowflake this was the afterthought I'm gonna tell you why because when I first did the card I thought oh I'm gonna put something here bumper so it can stop that's why the, that pearl is there too but then I didn't like that it was sitting like that. So I just put a half a snowflake above the sentiment so that it can sit higher. Since the sentiment is so big, it goes with the whole flow of the card. The image of the house, from our home to yours, and then may your home be filled with lots of laughter, warmth, and love this holiday season. Which again is my own sentiment. I'm sure you can find something like that. And a stamp set. And then, um, yeah, the pearl stops it there. So it sits like this. 
but like I said, this was supposed to be the original bumper, so I did put that up with foam tape, which I'm probably going to take off and do something up, you know, and put it flat, because I don't need that as a bumper. But you can see the colors of the card from the inside to the outside, and I, I that's the way I like to make my cards. That's what makes it feel like a whole card. It's coherent. It's all together. It looks the same on the front and the back, and um, that's the way I just like to do mine, and yeah, I want the person to get that to feel like it's together and not leave it plain. I mean, there's enough room for me to write something, or if it's not, because I really don't want to mess this up, I'll probably put something right above here where no one can see and put a little note inside. But I like the way the card came out. I love, don't you just like the way those snowflakes are hanging? Because you got to have snowflakes to match. On the inside of the shaker, it's little tiny, some little tiny stars. And those stars came from, let me show you guys so that you can, it's little stash things that they use for their, your nails. And the, you see these little things? You know. So I had this in my stash. And I put anything that would make the card shake and move around. So, how you like it? You think it came out cute? I don't, I put glitter on the inside, but that was probably like a big mistake because you can see if the glitter is clinging to the acetate, even though I used my non-static thing and some um, dryer sheets, it's still sticking. So that part I didn't like, but I still think the card came out really, really cute. So tell me what you like about it. And if you use glitter on your die cuts or to spruce them up and how do you spruce up your snowflakes and if you're interested in this stamp set that will go a long way okay then you know go over to two below designs LLC you can check them out right here and get your um, stamp set and please if you do so if you do, um, tag me in it. I would love to be able to see what you do with this stamp set. I really want to do something with these two trees and hang something from them. Um, maybe some Santa hats. I'm not sure, but I, I really like those branches. That's another reason why I got them in that lamp post with the candle in it. I have so many more Christmas cards to make. So, I feel like if I get them out every so often. Oh, I'm sorry. If I get them out every so often before Christmas gets here, then I won't be behind like last year. Because I don't think I even sent one card out last year. Maybe just one. Because, um... I, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it, but I'm trying to do more this year. So, I don't know. Whoever gets this card, I really love this card. Oh, did I say this card was five and a half by five and a half? This is kind of a big card. I I, I don't know. I'm starting to feel like the A2, A2 size cards are not enough room to do what I want them to do. So, yes, this type of card, I'm going to have to pay more and to to send it but i'll probably send this card with a gift this is a card you send with a gift so and this is more than just uh a card that um you know this this is this this, this will have to go to a card to someone who you really like <laughs> that's what i think I, it took me some time to work on this i mean the coloring alone took me like a a day and a half Especially with watercolor, you know, you have to wait for one part to dry and then, you know, come back because you don't want the colors to flow in. I use uh, Distress. I don't know if you can see that. And then you look at my other one. Distress Oxides for the, not uh, Oxides. Why am I saying Oxides? Um, I use Distress Ink for the whole thing. And the back, the, the sky and everything, the whole thing is done. I actually have this pen that I got from... I can't remember where I got it from. Um, I, it was, well, it was in my stash. And it's a gray and black, and that's what I use to do the snow with hickory, hickory, uh, hickory smoke distress. 
ink. Not the oxides, the ink. And see, see that glitter is falling away. And I can't really show you the, the image. You see that? Yeah, don't put glitter in your despite what people say. Don't 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 do that. Don't put glitter in in your shaker cards. People say that. Don't do that. Unless it's like some big chunky glitter. But don't put the extra fine glitter in there. It, it, it's only going to obscure your image. You know, you can see it. It looks good when you do like this because it's like a film on it. But don't, don't do that. Take my word for it. Don't put glitter in your shaker cards. Micro beads, sequins, those little nail, those little um, nail chunky pieces. But don't put glitter, okay? Don't do it. Save them for your die cuts. Okay, I made this video long enough. This is Teresa with Mother More Daughter. If you find anything that you like here from this stamp set that I did, you can find them over at Two Below Designs. Two Below Designs also, oh, excuse me, also sells the Cricut. And there's free shipping. Like I told you guys before, if you want to, if you, um, I, I would buy something that's heavy from Two Below Designs. That way I could get <laughs> free shipping in here. Oops. Just download the thumb. Oops. Sorry. But like I was saying, that if you find something heavy that you actually have to pay a lot of money for, then uh, you can get it from over there because you won't have to pay free shipping and handling. It's not fast, but it's free. So that's what I would do if I were you. Get something heavy that that's really heavy and uh, buy it from there. That way you will have free shipping and handling. But um, if you enjoy this stamp set again, go over there and check it out or any of the items that I showed here. You can go over there and see if they have it there and it will ship to you for free. So without further ado, um, I believe this is going to be my last video for Two Below Designs. Um, my experience as a design team member was just that an experience. Um, you can go over and also check out the other products that they have. Let me show you that card again. But like I said, this is my last video for Two Below Designs LLC. Okay, you guys? So, continue to watch my channel. I will be back some, with some very interesting things because I got a lot of stuff going on. But you can go over to Two Below Designs LLC. Oh, let me tell you one thing. You know how sometimes when you run in, um, no, I'm not going to do that. I'll tell you next time. Okay, this is Teresa Warren, mother of one daughter, and I'm out.